you're looking at a 78 year old bridge. It's one of the bridges that VDOT will be discussing at an upcoming public hearing. They say they need the public present so they can make the right decisions. And that's what this meeting is about, to let the public know the type of structures that we're going to be putting in and then to get feedback if there's certain things that they want to see or things that we need to know about those particular areas. Sandy Myers is the communications manager with VDOT. When asked if the meeting is in any way connected to concerns over the recent collapse of a bridge in Washington state, she says absolutely not. That incident, um, as we understand it, was caused by a vehicle actually striking the bridge. The type of bridge that was in the Seattle incident is different from the types of bridges that we have here. The other two bridges that will be worked on include one on Audubon Road and one on Pleasant Run Bridge. Meyer says that none of the three bridges will be closed while under construction. Uh, the bridges are going to be replaced. Now during construction we are going to be maintaining traffic in the area. Uh, in one case we'll have to have a small detour, but most of these can be done under construction either because we're building a parallel structure or we'll have a flagger there or a signal there. VDOT estimates that costs for this bridge to be replaced will be over $5 million. In Rockingham County, Annalisa Gale, WHSV.